two videos in one week, two in one week, there we go, that's how numbers work. Um, I hope you all really enjoyed the adventure video, I really really enjoyed going on it. It's just going to be one of those videos that I'm probably going to keep for the rest of my life. Um, and like show to him when we're 50 and be like, look at this! Probably show his kids, his wife, embarrass him or something. Uh, quite a few of you said, oh that looks so cool, I want to go on an adventure too. Just go. Like the point of the micro adventure was that you just leave your front door, you go. It's supposed to be like this thing that wasn't planned, like we didn't really plan it. The day before Stuart came over to my house and was like, where should we go? And I was like, we should go hiking. And he was like, yes we should. So we did. Um, like, that's how it works, basically, is the point of a micro-adventure. So just go. It doesn't need to be big things like this. It just could just be like a walk around. It, it was just lots of fun and I definitely recommend anyone going on a micro-adventure. I loved it. Um, hiking in the dark for two and a half hours without head torches was a little bit iffy. Um, but it was fine, you know, we lived. The part of this video uh, has to do with... The fact that I've now been at uni for a year and um, at uni I do something called tech which is where I do stage crew for productions and stuff and I'm currently taking a show called Art which is about friendship but how, how do you know who your friends are? And it's something that really got me thinking about friendship like how do you know who your friends are? Why are you friends with people? Are you friends with them because you have something in common? Or are you friends with them for other reasons? And it's not really my sort of play art, it's not really funny or anything like that but this is now the third time I've seen it, because I have to watch it every night. And I think I might finally be starting to understand what the guy is saying. Or asking, I suppose he's asking it. Are you friends with people because of convenience? Or do you actually have something in common? And, I mean, it got me thinking about my friendships. And not only my friendships here, but my friendships at home and my friendships sort of on the internet that are starting. I think my friendships here are based more on convenience. And my friends all watch these now because I've just figured out that they know and I love them. I love my friends here. They're like some of my favourite people in the world. So like what is it that actually makes a friendship? If I can have such profound friendships based only on convenience, because the reason I'm friends with these people is because I lived with them last year. And yet they're some of the most profound friendships that I have. There's... My friends on the internet now like are based on the fact that we're all on the internet, but there's no convenience in being friends with people who live thousands of miles away. So it's actually that we have something in common and yet my relationships with people at home or on the internet are no more profound or no more less profound, no more less, no less profound than the friendships I have with the people that I live with. I don't, it's really got me thinking about what makes up a friend, what a friend is, and why you call someone a friend. Give me your thoughts on friendship. I realise I asked a bunch of questions and not really said anything particularly profound, but friendship is one of those things that you don't really know what you've got until it's gone. You don't really realise how valuable friendship is until you don't have it. And like, in my life there was a point where I had no friends. Like, no one I could count on, no one I could call if something went wrong. And because of that I am now burying my soul. Um, which is a little bit uncomfortable, but because of that I now value my friendships so highly. Like, they're one of the- my f just having friends- life isn't worth anything without someone to share it with, basically. I feel like I'm gonna start crying. I don't want to start crying. I didn't want to start back with such an intense video. I'm sorry. But um, this is what you get. Just let me know what your thoughts on friendship are and, you know, how how friendship affects you. I think that's what I've decided. Your friends, it doesn't matter why they're your friends. What matters is how they're your friends. And with that, I'm going to leave you because that is a really art student sentence coming from a science student and I'm quite proud of it, so yes. Um, that video, by the way, was entirely unscripted. I hope you really liked it. And now it's time for a random fact of the day, which one of my housemates told me the other day and I've completely forgotten. No, Catherine, I can't remember it. Okay, I'm gonna have to get the book. Did you know that one has to eat 11 pounds of potatoes to put on one pound of weight and that there are no more calories in a potato than there are in an apple? I will see you all sometime soon. I'm not making any promises because I keep breaking them. I'm sorry, but I love you and I will see you soon.